do 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 oh hey hey haha how we doing I didn't see you there haha ah I'm just kidding obviously obviously I knew you there I've set up this whole recording thing uh for you but anyway anyway how we going guys great to be back great to be back here with you Barry Steak for us here for another episode and it's a big episode this week well it's pretty big it's pretty big because we're preparing for an even bigger episode. All right, now, episode 29 today, which means episode 30, the big three zero is happening in exactly uh, one episode's time. That's right, big 30 is almost up. So for today, we need to do something that's pretty good, but not too good. So it makes the next episode seem less good. You know what I mean? So the, the 30, the big three zero needs to be great. It needs to be a great episode. So we don't want episode 29 overshadowing it at all. So today's episode is going to be pretty good. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, Barry, why don't you just concentrate on mating, making episode 30 really good instead of lowering the quality of this episode? Well, it's a good point. But, boys and girls, you're forgetting that it's my show and I can do whatever I want. So... With that in mind, I bring you the topic of today's episode, 29 things that Barry thinks are okay. So basically what we got here today, ladies and gentlemen, list of stuff that's not Barry's favorite, but at the same time, I got nothing against. Let's, let's crack into it. Number one, frogs. Number two, sundials. Number three, carrot cake. You know, I could take it or leave it. Uh, number four, grass. It's all right. Looks pretty good when you mow it. Can be a bit itchy. Uh, number five, tangerines. Uh, nobody's favorite, obviously, but not as bad as a blood orange. Uh, six, the number six. Honestly, nothing special. Uh, number seven, frisbee golf. Number eight, non-frisbee golf. Uh, number nine, frozen yogurt. Number ten, Frozen custard. I think I've had that once. It was, it was okay. Number 11, the 1950s. Not a bad decade overall, but I think you'll all agree, 60s was obviously way more fun. Uh, number 12, topaz. You know, not your classic emerald or sapphire, but still a lot better than regular old rocks. So, good on you. Number 13, corduroy. Number 14, pine lime flavor. You know, I would honestly, I'd rather just pine or just lime. Unnecessary hybrid. I'll still eat it, I'll still drink it, if it's all you've got. Uh, number 15, leopards. Not really needed, we've already got the lion, we've got the tiger. Leopard, yeah. I mean, snow leopards are killer, they're great. The snow leopard's good, we should just stick with the snow leopard and discontinue all the other lesser types of leopard. It's just my opinion. Number 16, green ink pens. Don't really know what's going on there. Uh, number 17, those those dust jackets you sometimes get on uh, on a hardcover book. Don't know about them. Number 18, burgundy colored cars. It's not my first choice, but not a deal breaker necessarily. Uh, number 19, Turkish delight. Number 20, those helicopters that have got two separate propellers. Don't know about them. Uh, number 21, those curved swords like the ones from Aladdin. Number 22, the movie Aladdin. Number 23, canola oil. You know, it's okay. Number 24, A1 sketchbooks. Not a practical size at all. Number 25, fish burgers. I'll eat them, but I usually prefer the seafood and burger categories stay separate. Please, everybody. Thanks. Number 26, rollerblades. Number 27, diesel trains. Useful, obviously steam trains are way better. Number 28, coconut milk. It's not milk, it's juice. Sort it out. Uh, number 29, remote control boats. Fun, but just nowhere near as versatile as a remote control car, because you need access to a decent sized body of water and then if your boat goes too far, gets out of range, and stuck out there, then you need to get yourself a regular boat. 
Regular boats, not on the list, because I reckon they're pretty good. So, there you go. Was that 29? That's 29! 29 things that I reckon uh, pretty good. So, hope you guys found that moderately interesting, but not too interesting. Not interesting enough to make you not want more in the next episode. Because, ha <laughs> things are going to get pretty interesting then, let me tell you. Ah. Ha! Alright. On with some questions. Alright, Devara says, Glad to see you again, Barry. Glad to see you too, mate. Uh, Barry, if Dan are sad, are you going to hug Dan? I'm just asking. Uh, look, not that kind of relationship, Devara. Honestly, Dan's doesn't really the hugging type. Neither am I. Honestly, it's not an overly affectionate dynamic that we share. Uh, we, you know, you know, sort of that thing you do when, uh, when someone's walking one way down a hall and you're working the other way and you sort of step to the side, but then they step to the side and then you sort of go side to side trying to get past. And yeah, me, me and dad, me and Dan did that once, ended up in a huge fist fight and, uh, got us, got us both kicked out of the children's hospital. Uh, all right. Shadow Man, 62, Barry. What would you do if your jetpack was stolen? Uh, well, Shadow Man, my jetpack is stolen. By me. I stole it. Stole it from legitimate research. You can you can see the whole story behind that in the original game trailer. Just look it up in the old YouTubes. It's, uh, you know, type in Barry jetpack trailer something, something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't need to look it up. I was there. Uh, alright. Wilmer says, Barry. Can you make another game? Uh, no. No, I, I didn't even make the first game. To be honest, I'm a terrible programmer. I still can't even get my dishwasher on the right setting, you know? <laughs> Sometimes the crockery comes out all lemony fresh, other times there's more scum on them than there was when I put them in there. You know, you never know You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, but we, we, we try and make a, a fun game of it at my house. Yeah. Uh, and by we, I mean... Uh, me. Uh, Alright, Sonic, Sonic 65 101. Big question. How do I get your autograph? I have an empty space next to Anthony Daniels' autograph that would be perfect. Well, Sonic, I am always happy to give the fans what they want, obviously. I'm very giving. Barry Steak Fries is never too busy to provide a fan with an autograph. So, if you want it, that's no problem. Just let me know where to send it, and I will ship that bad boy right over to you. For only $1,249.99. Thank you. Mario fan, do you take a bath every day, Barry? Of course, of course I do, Mario fan. I take a bath every single bath day, which is about once a fortnight, give or take. Uh, Chantel says, will you, will you marry me? Ha, <laughs> this again. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm so sick of these. Uh, I get it all the time, you know, clogging up my email. People wanted me to marry them or go out with them. <laughs> uh, calm down, guys. Uh, hey, hey, can we get these? Can we get these printed off? The comments? Can we print them? Also, is there a frame shop anywhere near here? Does anyone know where I can get a frame? No, no, no reason. I just had a good idea for my my dad, my mum's um. But uh, ah, uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry, never mind that. Uh, just, you know, enough with the marriage requests, everybody. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll be in contact, Chantel. Please, please, please don't go anywhere. Please. Anyway, hope that episode was, was alright for you. Super okay, I'm hoping. And I'll see you next time. Especially you, Chantel. I'll see you next time, guys, for the big, the big 30s coming up. See you then. Barry Steak Fries, out.